Hey you guys, it's Yolanda here. I know it's been a minute since you've seen my face, right? But listen, I'm here and that's all that matters. I'm here. So, hey, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I am Yolanda. I am the hands behind My Pretty Brown Doll. So the doll designer for My Pretty Brown Doll where I do specialize in brown dolls with natural hair inspired hairstyles. And then I'm also the writer for the blog, My Crochet Life, where you get a behind the scenes look at how I run my crochet business. And then I also give you tips and tricks on how you can take your crochet hobby to a crochet business. Business. So those are my roles. Um, that's what I do. And I have links to everything below so you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff. But today, today I have a yarn review. I know another yarn review, but yes, a yarn review and a finished project. So because I've actually worked with this yarn and so I can really, really tell you how I feel about it because I've actually been able to use it and finish a project with it. Because sometimes when we do yarn reviews, we come and we just talk about the yarn and we haven't done anything with it. So we really can't talk about like stitch definition and things like that but this particular yarn I have actually used and so I can tell you how I feel about it the good the bad should you buy it should it be in your stash or should you just leave it in the store so today's yarn that I'm going to talk about is um, exclusive for Hobby Lobby. And I know that a lot of people may not have access to a Hobby Lobby um, because I know, like I live in North Carolina, so we actually have quite a few Hobby Lobbies here in North Carolina. Um, but I know in some other places, Hobby Lobby is not like a popular store like Michael's and Joann's. And then I also know that some people just don't like shopping at Hobby Lobby. I personally am fine with shopping there. Um, if you have any of my doll patterns, then you know, like um, the Afro Puff doll, link below, or the keychain pattern, link also below. I actually use the Hobby Lobby I Love This Cotton to work up my projects. Um, and so Hobby Lobby kind of is my yarn of choice the most of the time. The only thing about the Hobby Lobby yarn, it's, um, the I love this cotton, especially using it as a skin tone, is that they do only come in like three shades that I can use as a skin tone. So they have the brown, they have the antique gold, and then they have the taupe. And those are pretty much the only three that I'm able to use as skin tones. And so I do use other yarns. And so other yarns will work for any of my patterns, any four weight worsted weight yarn will work. Um, but if you're looking to do like brown dolls, um, I do use those shades. And then, like I said, I incorporate some other yarn companies for some other shades. But today... The yarn that we're going to be talking about is exclusive to Hobby Lobby. It is the Hobby Lobby Sugar Wheel yarn. So it's the Hobby Lobby Sugar Wheel. Um, it is so basically Hobby Lobby um, was like, look, we not going to miss out on this self striping yarn trend. Like we want to be in on this trend as well. So this is like their version of Karen Cakes and Burnett Pop and Sweet Roll and all of that good stuff. This is their jumping in on that train, on that trend. So it is, um, the brand is actually Yarn B, but Yarn B is exclusive to Hobby Lobby. So the brand is Yarn B. It's called Sugar Wheel. Um, this particular colorway is Apple Tart, which is, of course, these lovely greens and blues. I really like this. And I picked this up for a particular project that now I really don't even have time to do. But let me just give you the facts about the yarn. So it is a 100% acrylic, which means it can be machine washed and dried. And I did take notes so that I wouldn't miss any of the facts. So like I said, 100% acrylic, machine washed and dried. It's, it is a four weight. So it is a four weight yarn. I will say it is a thicker four weight than some other four weights. This is, it tends, it's a little bit more thicker to me than the Karen Cakes. Um, this reminds me of Sweet Roll. When I think about the thickness of Sweet Roll, this is what this reminds me of. So if you have any of the Premier Sweet Roll, this, it kind of reminds me of Sweet Roll. Um, it retails for $6.99. You get 355 yards. They have 40 colorways. 
40 colorways with this and that's one of the things that kind of like drew me to it because normally when I go in Hobby Lobby I'm normally going to get the I love this cotton but when I saw this yarn the colors are it's definitely what made me stop and was like oh let me see so um, they have some very gorgeous pretty colors in this um, like I said this particular one is apple tart um, and if you don't have a Hobby Lobby close to you here's the awesome thing you can order this online so you can definitely get this online and they can ship it to you if you don't have a Hobby Lobby close but this particular colorway, Apple Tart, I also have it in this colorway, which I've already started to use. This colorway was called Sweet Tooth, or is called Sweet Tooth. It's still Sweet Tooth. Um, but I have started to use it. What drew me to this colorway was the green and red. Like when I saw that green and red together, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And I cannot wait to see how it works up. So I had actually started a project with it and then never finished the project. Like it's still a work in progress. Um, but even based on what I had started here, um, again, the yarn kind of works up kind of thick. And even though it's a four weight, they actually do recommend using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook with this. I am using a five millimeter hook and you can see um, because I'm using a five millimeter, it's not as drapey as I would like it to be, but that's because I'm using the five millimeter instead of the 5.5. I think if I use the 5.5, it would definitely have a lot more drape. Um, but for the purposes of what I'm doing, the five millimeter hook works. But again, can you see how beautiful and bright and vibrant these colors are? That is what I absolutely, absolutely love about this yarn. Um, and it gives great stitch definition. So I'm using double crochet stitches and they are just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so my finished project, because I actually did finish something with it, is similar to what I'm working on here. It's the Bedtime Bella pattern from Cafe Mocha Creations. The Bedtime Bella pattern. And I'll leave a link to the pattern below. It is a paid pattern. And I've actually talked about this pattern in another video. I absolutely love the pattern. It's like one of my favorite things to make. But how? Oh my gosh, she is so gorgeous. Y'all look at these colors. Do y'all see these colors? This colorway is Bubblegum Trails. This is Bubblegum Trails. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. And here's the thing. I actually did not think that the colors were going to work. Like when I first saw it, I was just kind of like, uh, I don't know. But they are so gorgeous. They are just absolutely gorgeous. Again, I did use a five millimeter hook for this project. Um, I used a four millimeter hook for her head and for the wig cap and for her arms. But for the blanket part, I did use a five millimeter hook. So if you've seen my other ones that I've made, because I make I normally make these with Karen cakes. So if you've seen some of the other ones that I made, this one doesn't have as much drape, but it's still, as you can see, it's still flowy. It's still pretty. Um, it makes for a nice, thick, squishy little blanket part, which I absolutely love. And then this is the Hobby Lobby I Love This Cotton. Um, this is the taupe colorway. It's actually a little bit more brown than it's showing up on camera. It has um, a more brown undertone. It looks kind of really pale here, but it actually does have a brown undertone. And then she has the cute sleepy eyes and then her gorgeous fluffy one puff that I absolutely love that I absolutely love so this one already has a forever home she is getting she's probably by the time you see this video she will probably already be at her forever home um but I just I love the way the yarn worked up again beautiful stitch definition if I had to use a 5.5 millimeter hook here's the thing I probably would have had to have two skeins of this this is one just one of these was able to make this blanket and i had like just a really really little bit of this purple color left when i got done so if i had a used a 5.5 millimeter hook i most likely probably would have needed two skeins 
of this yarn um, because I would have needed a little bit more from that second skein to be able to finish that off if I used a 5.5 millimeter. So, I, I mean, a five, yeah, 5.5. .5. So I'm happy with the 5 millimeter. I'm happy with the way it turned out. Um, I would highly recommend this yarn. As you can see, it has a long color change so it does take a while for the yarn to change to the next color but i was okay with that i because as this the way this um particular project works as it spreads you can see that the rows kind of get shorter and shorter but the yarn does have a long colorway so if you were like trying to make something where you wanted the color to change quickly then this would not be the self-striping yarn that you want to use. The other thing that I would note is that this, it has about only five different colorways in it. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so you get like five color changes and then that's, that's pretty much it. And that's how all of them are. You get like five color changes. I think the um, Karen Cakes has like seven and then like Mandala has seven, like some of the other ones have more colors in them. But I, again, because the color payoff is so beautiful and it's just these beautiful bright colors, I was okay with it not um, being like seven or eight different colors in this. And I was okay with the long color change. But take those things into consideration depending on what you're using it for. If it's for a blanket or something like that, it'll probably work out great. But if you're trying to do like a scarf or something, it's going to be like a long scarf because you're waiting for that color to change because you're waiting so long for the color to change. But other than that, I loved it. It worked great on my hook. I did use a Furls um, Odyssey crochet hook with it and it was like butter on that hook like it just moves so smoothly um no like the yarn was not splitting at all it was just it was lovely it was absolutely lovely to work with and again the color payoff is what is making this so worth it to me um if you watch my other reviews of the other self-striping yarns you will know one of the things that i'm not fond of is this washed out color um that's like it's just like the color just didn't take really well but with the sugar wheel as you can see that color just it's just gorgeous there's no other way to describe it it's just absolutely gorgeous so this has to be like my new favorite like it's my new favorite and with 40 different colorways i'm almost certain they have a colorway that you like or that you would like and that you're looking for so again if you're not close to a hobby lobby and you're interested in this definitely go online they do have them online so that you can look at them um but if you have a hobby lobby i would say go look at it in person so you can touch it and squeeze it and squish it and see how squishy it really is but it has to be my new favorite now out of all the self striping yarns this is my new favorite and so you will probably see a lot more projects from me with the sugar wheel um with the yarn be sugar wheel yarn um so yeah just get ready because you'll probably see a lot more projects but that's it you guys that is my review of the hobby lobby yarn b sugar wheel yarn oh let me just mention if you do decide to buy do try to make sure that they give you some all in the same um lot number i know some people don't pay attention to lot numbers but i would pay attention to the lot number on these if you need to get more than one and they have the lot numbers printed right on the label so i would pay attention to the lot labels because sometimes the the color varies from the lot like it's the same colorway but it may vary slightly depending if your lot numbers don't match because basically that just means that they weren't bold or colored at the same time and so maybe they put a little bit more blue in one pot than they did in the other I don't know how they color it but you you get what I'm saying so just keep that in mind that if you need more than one of a particular colorway to try to make sure that the lot uh, lot numbers do match but other than that I would definitely say add to your stash. This is a add to your stash. This is a go find a Hobby Lobby immediately and get you some or go to HobbyLobby.com and order yours because it's a beautiful, beautiful yarn and it works up into beautiful, beautiful projects. 
All right, you guys, that's all I got for today. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget, if you like, if you enjoy, to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, like, what? You haven't subscribed? <laughs> subscribe to the channel um i can't believe like i'm over a thousand subscribers now i think and so maybe it's time for a giveaway maybe it's time for a giveaway yeah i think that's what will be up next we'll we'll we will do a giveaway because i have reached that thousand dollar that thousand dollar thousand subscriber mark here on um youtube and so yay for that thank you guys for all the support for all your comments all your likes sharing all of that good stuff it is certainly appreciated and i will see you next time bye i'm going to cuddle with this little bella doll before i pack her up before i pack her up bye guys